Right, uh, welcome to this week's challenge with Tom Rockliffe. I got uh, my good mate Jack Redden along. We're going to uh, have a putting challenge. Don't know about the stance here. It's a bit wide. Oh. Okay, this is a bit of a longer one. Look at the hunch on it. And that's almost in the hole. Oh! Who would have thought a bloke like this, with a physique like that, plays AFL footy? <laughs> Zachary said he's on. He's nailed both of them. <laughs> Welcome back to Game Day, Tom Rockcliffe and the Tom Rockcliffe Challenge. What we understand, Tom, is there's a real bromance between yourself and Jack Redden, is that right? Yeah, yeah, we, uh, we've lived together since uh, about six months we got to the club and really hit it off since then. What about the other end of the scale? You're the next generation with Jack Redden, Simon Black, who's seen seemingly been a great player for so long. Yeah, he's a, he's a star, he's a, he's a competitor, and mm. I was saying before, he really sets, it, sets up the outside players with what he does inside. What did you think when you saw him in the substitutes vest 12, uh, sorry, a week ago? Um, yeah, well, it's all about management for him, and it was a six-day turnaround, a long flight to Perth, and he did have a bit of a sore knee, so mm. you've got to really manage your players as you'd, as you'd know, and he came on and had an impact, and that's mm. what you want from your sub. Lee, from a coaching perspective, what did you <coughs> make of Simon Black sitting there in a oh. red vest? I made, well... I don't think you play an injured player off the sub. I mean, you're either fit or you're not fit. And I, when I saw uh, Blackie on the sub vest, I wondered it was a subtle message to say, this is what the future will hold if you keep playing Michael occasionally. And, he, he went through it last year with a good mate in Luke Power. Yeah. Uh, Luke didn't want to end his career, I think it's fair to say. Yeah. Now he's going to be faced maybe with Simon Blackie. Well, 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 that's the problem. I mean, Blackie's still a good enough player now, might be still a good enough player in 2013. The problem is how far off your peak do you go before you decide to stop playing? That's the challenge for club. And player. Well, Tommy, are you hoping he goes around again? Are you expecting him to go around again? Yeah, I think he'll go around, around again. He's, uh, he's had a good year and he's impacted the group and he's, he's just as good for the young blokes around the footy club to show them what, mm. it, what it is to be an AFL footballer. And it's, you, you definitely walk taller when he's beside you running out there. Easy yesterday, he played forward most of the time he was on the ground. He went off substitute in the third quarter. Uh, Tom, have you played against Israel Fellow? No, I haven't played against. He's him. just a boy. Yeah, he just yeah. he, he. I think in the ruck he shows a little bit because he can jump, but in the forward line, no. Tommy Israel Flower, I know you haven't played against him, but Carmichael Hunt. Do you get a little bit nervous when they're around you that they might uh, just give you a big uh, up, big tackle? Yeah, he's a big boy, Carmichael Hunt, and he's uh, he's improved out of sight, and I think he's going to get better and better, but. I don't think you really get scared. I suppose if you got a bit scared, you probably wouldn't go out there because there's bodies going everywhere. But he is a good player and he's improving week in, week out. Can I ask just one question? I mean, just if they were a certain age group, how, what age group would be the youngest age group where they would be good enough to be a really good team? Like 22, 23, 24? Where, how do you see it in average development of, into, of youngsters? Yeah, I reckon probably 23 you're starting to sort of yeah. come together as a group. Like we're, we're sort of at that stage at the moment. We're probably another year off where mm. we've come through together and they're going to be, both teams are going to be scary outfits in the future and no doubt they'll be contesting for premierships in four or five years' time. But you, you, you've got to expect that with a young group and they haven't played much footy mm. together. So the more footy they play together, they're going to improve and improve. And you, you learn different things as you play with, play with blokes and what, what their strengths and weaknesses are and how you can complement each other, so to speak. We often hear about the 12-point turnaround. We don't often see the 12-point play in AFL football. Have a look for the ball that goes through after the ablet kick. It's just lower. It comes off the ground. So ablet's ball goes high, off the ground, another goes through. <laughs> Bennell and ablet together have been sensational all year, but that's something new, isn't it? That's just, that's just adding something extra to their game there. And uh, well, in the end, that's the difference. You know, <laughs> Imagine if you could do that each week. Now, Tommy, this first time for you on the show. You have the Rockcliffe Challenge. We have quick hands. Quick questions, very quick answers. Is it true during a golf game with Jack Redden, you hit a moving truck that was behind you? Nah, nah. <laughs> Jack, uh, Jack did hit a truck. It was stationary, but uh, out the back of the course, yeah. <laughs> We've heard you've nicknamed yourself the Wiz. Is that what the boys call you? Is this true or not? Uh, I didn't nickname myself, but I did have a, um, a garden name that looked like a wizard. Oh, okay. James Polkinghorn <laughs> came up with it, yeah. <laughs> now, mate, we've seen that you are great mates with Mel Schlanger, but is it also true that she beat you in a chin-up challenge? Yeah, smash me, and I reckon she'd, she'd uh, beat most blokes. She got 34 <laughs> How many you on get? the day. I got uh, 17, I think. So, oh, double. Uh, yeah, she... Uh, <laughs> Uh, she took me to the cleaners. Uh, Tom, I spent a bit of time in your hometown of Benalla. I went into a butcher's shop and they got a thing called the pickle tub <laughs> and the bloke said, Tom Rockcliffe's been in that. What's all that about? Yeah, uh, when I was about 
12 or 13, I, I was quite cheeky and the butcher picked me up and uh, threw me in the pickle tub, which is <laughs> obviously all pig fat and stuff like that. So <laughs> head first and uh, yeah, I've got to go back and fix him up when I'm home next. <laughs> <laughs> Two things to uh, finish off. Firstly, a game day gift. And while you're looking for the game day gift, which I think you brought some boots in, we're going to ask Kai Hassel, who is Lee Matthews' grandson, to bring the marshmallows in. Come in, Kai. <laughs> He's bringing the marshmallows in. We'll see how many marshmallows you can get in your mouth at once. But uh, these are recently worn in a game somewhere? Yeah, the last time I wore these were actually the Hall of Fame night. The night Lee got inducted. So win over the, the Dogs. Bulldogs. Yeah, good win over the Bulldogs. Well done. The proceeds of those, which will auction off at the end of the year, go to <coughs> the latter program, AFLPA's chosen charity, Homeless Youth. Where are you going? You off or are you staying? You Come in here. With me. He gets paid by the second. <laughs> right on. Now, your record for number of mouths... Marshmallows in your mouth is what? I think 14 or 15. Well, right? you count, Kai. <laughs> One. <laughs> two, three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. This is great dedication by you, Tom. He's going to break the record here. <laughs> this is for the record. <laughs> Thanks for coming in, Tommy. He's broken the world record, but what we do say is don't try that at home. It might just send the kids to the loopy and it's very dangerous if it's suffocate. Plenty to come still on game day. We've got James Kelly, Will Ferrell. Lingy goes head-to-head -head with James Kelly plus the Friday and Saturday night blockbusters. Stay with us on game day.